Hi everyone, this is Ayush. Let's start with a quick question. Let's assume there's a particle which is thrown vertically upwards. Okay. So it went above, then it came down. A simple particle thrown up vertically upward. Obviously, it will stop stop at one height and it will come down. Question is in between, in midway of the paths, will they have same velocities? Will the particle have same velocity at point this and this? Yes. No. Particle will have same speed. Particle will have same speed at these points, not velocities. Question asked in J advance. A simple thing, one of the option, it came in J advance in 2018 or 19. I given both years. I did wrong. Many students give wrong, even the coaching institute give the wrong answer key. That is the importance of understanding speed and velocities. It's a very basic thing, but still we forget. Actually, in physics, it's different, but in chemistry, speeds and velocities are completely interchanged. So please be very careful. So today's concept will be on your speed and velocity. Starting with very some, something very easy. Next videos on this will be very important. Make sure you watch them. Okay. What's the difference between speed and velocity? Let's start. Speed and velocity. First thing, what is speed? Speed is distance upon time. We know everything. Speed is distance upon time. Most of the people know. And what is velocity? It's displacement upon time. Great. But tell me one thing, tell me one thing, when is this formula valid? When is this valid? The answer is this formula is valid when speed is uniform. What is this uniform? School uniform? No, sir. Uniform means constant. When the speed is constant, only then apply this formula. When velocity is uniform or constant, just remember this word uniform because in questions you will encounter uniform word, not constant. Uniform means constant. Okay. What is constant means not changing with time. Let's say V is equal to 5 meter per second. This is constant. V is equal to 5 T square. This is not constant. Okay. So first point understood the first thing is the formula. This is distance. This is displacement. One more thing you may know that velocity is a vector quantity. Speed is not a vector quantity. It's a scalar quantity. Okay. I'll be doing certain number of questions after explaining the concept. So please be very careful. Watch till the end. Next thing. Next thing. Second point is your average speed. Okay. What is average speed? Average speed is total distance upon time. Very simple. What is average velocity? Uh, average velocity is total displacement upon time. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's analyze. Average speed, total distance upon time. When is this valid? When is this valid? It's always valid. Always valid. That's why actually questions on average speed comes very specific. You will never encounter a question in which there's acceleration also and average speed also. Average speed questions are different from the normal questions. And this formula is always valid regarding average velocity. Now listen to me very carefully. Total displacement. Total displacement. Okay. Just tell me what's the difference between displacement and total displacement. What's the difference? There is, sir, no difference. No difference. You can omit this total. But why it is important? Why it is important? Let's see. There's a particle, there's a point A point B, point C, 
this is displacement s1 this is displacement s2 so what we tend to do is finding average velocity we add these displacement because it's total displacement upon time then we divide by time but this will fetch you negative marks total displacement doesn't exist it's always displacement so displacement between a and c will not be s1 plus s2 it will be this line i hope you understand my point and the last thing is your instantaneous speed what is this dx by dt your instantaneous velocity is dx by dt same some may write like this okay but what's the difference between instantaneous speed and instantaneous velocity instantaneous speed and instantaneous velocity are same yes same in the sense magnitude wise obviously instantaneous velocity will have some direction instantaneous speed will not have any direction so it's a vector it's scalar but they have same magnitude which was not the case in speed and velocity speed was like distance this is displacement i will uh, do some questions in which more clarity will come whereas for instantaneous speed and instantaneous velocity they have same magnitude always i hope the concept is clear okay then let's talk about concept 2 it's regarding speed and velocity only the question is particle moves it's a very important concept or you can you may say it's a very important question particle moves let's say this distance is d and this distance is also d first thing is equal distance equal distance and the velocity is v1 and velocity is v2 so what is the average velocity okay what will be the average velocity average velocity is displacement upon time not total displacement total displacement doesn't exist displacement upon time what is displacement d plus d upon total time what what will be the time see now you know that a constant velocity v1 is here throughout and constant velocity v2 is here throughout so i can tell that time duration between this time duration between this i can use this formula v1 is equal to d upon t t is equal to d upon v1 why i am using this formula because the velocity is constant in this path i hope you understood my point so time t1 will be d upon v1 plus d upon v2 what it will come it will come 2 upon 1 upon v1 plus 1 upon v2 which you may write it as v1 plus v2 so this is the average velocity when distances are equal what will be the average speed what will be the average speed average speed will always uh, not always average speed in this case will be same because its particle is moving in one dimension and it is not coming back so in a straight line displace and distance and displacement are equal hence the average velocity and average speed will be equal next thing is equal time let's say equal time is taken again velocity v1 again velocity v2 let me take another sketch pen this is equal time equal time equal time okay 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 let's find the average velocity average velocity what will the average velocity displacement upon time displacement upon time okay displacement upon time for this path displacement is i am again using this formula v1 is equal to d upon t because the velocity is constant in this in this time interval and this time interval v1 is equal to d upon t i will use v1 t plus v2 t upon total time t plus t it will give you v1 plus v2 by 
that's it that's your velocity when it's equal time can we generalize this formula can we generalize this formula yes we can generalize this formula when it's equal distance and the speeds are v1 v2 v3 let's say v1 v2 v3 it will be 3 upon 1 upon v1 plus 1 upon v2 plus 1 upon v3 and if it is like equal time v1 v2 v3 it will be v1 plus v2 plus v3 by 3 if it is n times this will convert into n and write till this and if it is n times write till vn and convert this into n i hope you got the point and in very short i can say when there is equal time the average velocity is arithmetic mean this is ma mainly for j students arithmetic mean of velocities this statement is for j students not the concept and average velocity here will be hm harmonic mean of velocities i hope it's clear okay let's solve some questions but before solving the questions i will not be solving p y q for you because faster questions should be solved by yourself first do some errors then correct yourself and this is the best way to learn instead of me solving it for you first question let's say the body is at rest and uh, its acceleration is 2 meter per second square and uh, displacement is 100 meter time is 10 second okay now tell me what will be the velocity velocity will be simple displacement upon time displacement is 100 by 10 is equal to 10 meter per second and this is how you get the wrong answer because this formula is valid only when the velocity is constant or uniform see there is acceleration acceleration always changes the magnitude or the direction or both of the velocity see it is at rest means 0 meter per second initially and it to be uh, velocity to be constant it should be 0 meter per second throughout then only we can say it's constant now it has changed due to acceleration and so you cannot use this formula what will be the average velocity average velocity will be displacement upon time because i said this formula is always valid so this is 100 by 10 is equal to 10 meter per second and this is the correct answer actually 10 meter per second was average velocity velocity you have to find through equation of motion which i will deal in next lecture very important do watch that video okay second thing is if if the average speed is 15 meter per second what will be the average velocities what possibility can be there in the average velocity option is v1 is your 18 meter per second v2 is 12 meter per second v3 is minus 15 meter per second v4 is 0 meter per second what all can be the possibilities the answer is this cannot be the possibility this is true this is true this is true you remember one thing very important average speed is greater than equal to your average velocity why because distance is always greater than equal to displacement so that is the concept and one more thing one more thing like if if i reverse this if i reverse this like it's if it's if it is average velocity 15 meter per second so average speed can be 18 meter per second it cannot be 13 meter per second it cannot be minus 10 meter per second it cannot be minus 15 meter per second speeds can never be negative speeds are never negative so if you find a graph having speed negative just don't tick mark that graph that graph is wrong speed is never negative where velocity can be positive as well as negative that's it for the concept subscribe the channel if you want because i am going to solve some very useful questions and i will be telling very important topics for the j mains and neat so that's it bye thank you